Um, slowly getting warmer here, it's like almost zero degrees now. It's really not too bad though, honestly, because we're out of that wind. With minus 30 wind chill out there, it's just fucking insane. But as soon as you come into zero degrees, it's fucking pretty good. Um, Scott Base is heated to like 18, 16 degrees all the time, so you get pretty used to just being warm. Um, but so it's good to get out, and I'm really, really glad I got to come here, right? So lucky. It was a last minute thing. We had that Christchurch lockdown at the end of last year, the big one. And I, I came straight home from Wairu. Uh, I've already been away for like three months from home, straight back to Christchurch. Um, straight into lockdown, got a phone call from work saying, do you want to go to Antarctica? So next minute, yep, you're on the trip. As soon as I finish lockdown, straight into another lockdown in Methuen for two weeks with Antarctica New Zealand. We did our fire training and all that stuff. And then bang, straight, in, straight here to Antarctica. Straight on, first day here, straight working, straight into it, you know, no messing around. Already, already cooking for like 50, 60 people on our first day. And then we had to do our AFTs, which is camping out and stuff, doing all that, which was pretty epic. It was probably like minus 25 ambient, minus 30 pretty much. It was pretty damn cold anyway. My water bottle froze, so I didn't put it in my sleep bag or anything. I was dehydrated, you know, we've been, we've been digging and, you know, messing around and all, all day. It was pretty, you know, full on. Uh, the sleeping bags are really good. It's like, you know, double sleeping bags and a liner. And so I slept all night with my head out of the sleeping bag because just the water condensation was just everywhere. Woke up the next morning, still relatively warm, not really. Then I got up, we got out of the tent, um, didn't, didn't put my ACW jacket on, and I didn't I had my stupid salad pets, which were useless. And I got up, um, and then I was walking around a bit, and I was like, shit, I'm getting pretty cold. And then within like two minutes, I couldn't feel my hands. My feet were going numb. And I, my, mate, my mate Nigel was sat there with his hand warmers, and he looked freezing as well. And, and I was like, bro, I can't feel my fingers at all. It's, it's fucking painful as. And my mate Cam was, or well, the water, hot water, healing the hot water. I had my hands over it, man. Didn't do anything. You know, it just didn't do anything. I was just completely frozen, sort of like blacking out. Like, you know, when you stand up real quick sometimes and you get the head rush, I had that, but I couldn't get rid of it. Anyway, the field trainer comes out, John, and he, he's like, oh shit, bro. He's like, and he gets his hat in my hands and puts them underneath, underneath his armpits to try and warm them up. And he's like, mate, is that doing anything? I'm like, nah, for shit. And he's like, all right. So we're doing star jumps and fucking around and running. And, and like within half an hour of like doing exercise and like fucking doing shit, warmed up again and like, good to go, like honestly. Only, it took half an hour to get warm, but only like five minutes to get freezing cold. You just gotta be super careful, eh? It's just like, you can't mess around with these temperatures. And I think a lesson learned there, well, with any any cold weather, is just make sure you have enough layers on, because it takes way longer to get warmer than it does to get, you know, cold, and you just lose that heat so quick, and I've really learned a lot from doing that. So yeah, lesson learned. Anyway, so that was the first, like, three weeks that's got base, and we are just, you know, banging out meals, and. And it was just like, you know, full on like parties every weekend. You know, there was like 50 base crew and we all just had a fucking massive, just just working and partying for like the first three months and it was just absolute madness. Yeah, and then, then one of the chefs we had with us, he had to leave for uh, family reasons. So he, so we were a man down after Christmas. It was just me and the other chef out. So then we're just banging out meals for like 70 people, 60, 70 people, just two of us for like three weeks. So that was full on, just constantly working. It was pretty much seven days a week. Like there wasn't a day that went past where you just thought, oh fuck, we need to do something to, to you know, get enough food out. But when we do have downtime, we make the most of it, you know, and we get out there and camp and, and go on hikes and, and, you know, there's been so much stuff going on, especially with the, the American station over the road. It's just like, it's just mad parties, eh? It's just, it's a good time. It is a good laugh, but I'm not gonna lie, like the chefs, they fucking, they do some serious work and like, you know, you can't miss a meal. And you got morning smoker, lunch, afternoon smoker, and dinner every single day. So it's five meals a day, pretty much. The last month or so, we've only been cooking for like 30 people once the last cohort left. And the new chef came in, the winter chef, Paddy, he's staying. And he's only cooking for 16 over the winter uh, when we leave on Monday. So yeah, it's been a good time and you know, heaps of, heaps of good people. And yeah, I'm just so happy it's worked out. What else can you say? It's, it's just like a normal place to work. You do, you know, we did a marathon and stuff as well. You know, that was epic on the ice shelf, sorry. You know, and we've seen the, the sea ice was like two meters thick when we got here, and then it blew out like last month. And now it's just ocean. And, and tonight, when I just came back from here tonight, there was like massive waves coming over the bloody front of the base, which is just crazy. It's just, I knew it was gonna happen. Cause you can see the wind change and then bang, all these waves are coming in. Just, just really amazing. Now I'm back in Christchurch with COVID, so you just, it all comes together, you know? 
uh, and it's been a pleasure to share these memories with you and hopefully it gives you a bit of insight and more knowledge into you know what Antarctica is all about especially at Scott Base it's just a nice tight family and you know you just work hard and play hard that pretty much summarizes my six month trip and I'll be looking forward to going back again for 13 months well, I hope you have a fantastic day and uh, thanks for watching